Hey there everybody, this is Snowy88 and this is my first video about Cities Skyline. I have played this game several times and after that I have played it uh, nearly half a year not so it's basically new for me again so the only thing I want to show you is the map I once created uh, to uh, illustrate what it looks like when uh, when a huge dam breaks so if you, you can see the city and uh, it's a very extended city and uh, well, I made it a very nice city with uh, uh, the harbors around here with some bridges around here industries about here and this is a nice place for getting the sewage uh, 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 at the sea because I made also a, a well around here so the sewage is getting out together with the well and it's flowing straight into the ocean so it creates a little bit of of pollution but nothing to worry about when getting water from the ocean to uh, for extraction for for water now furthermore you can see uh, several highways going around the city and the most interesting part about this map is is this entire area if you you cannot see it from this distance but if you get closer by you see what I mean now you can see that this uh, how, how do I put it I have to find I have to I have to manage those those controls again because I've played I've played this game a long time ago uh, okay middle mouse is movement okay I've placed a, a big part of the city uh, at a very low uh, lying piece of land actually this piece of land is lying uh, at the lowest possible location possible so in essence uh, it creates a nice recipe for for a possible disaster so in that case I have built a dam you can see here a dam this is the dam and I've put some boulders against it so it, it, it actually looks like a dam uh, like uh, well these are the kinds of dams we we would have in, in Holland for example with some uh, uh, piers over here etc but sufficiently to say if you look very closely further on you can see here that he, that there there that I'm sorry for my English uh, guys <laughs> that there is a small piece of land over here with the sea right behind it well you can see, you can see it <laughs> you can see that the sea is much much and much higher than than this dam and also much higher than this um, than this piece of uh, city. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, as long as it, it is light now, I'm going to breach this dam. Now, before I can do that, I have to, I guess, I have to bulldoze the, the road away. So I bulldoze the road away, and okay, that is bulldoze, and then. We need the landscaping tool and we pick this option. Okay. Now let's go down. Let's go down 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 down. I know this must go can can go faster but like I said I haven't played this game for a while now. So excuse me if I'm doing things not entirely the right way as they should be I think I think I think this will do oh it's getting dark I hate that because when it's getting dark you cannot see it oh 
man, why is it getting dark? Why? I hate it when it's getting dark and foggy. He can't see the tsunami. Hmm. Um, well, uh, how do I have to... Hmm. Well, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop the video and reload this game while it's still while well, it's still in the afternoon and I will breach the dam immediately so no time is wasted there okay let's go there all right let's go let's go let's go where is that, where is that? all right so landscaping tool down 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 I've played this game uh, a lot more than this, and I know this can go faster. But I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure anymore. It's it's been nearly a year ago I played this game. I'm I'm even happy that I knew uh, that I know to find these tools, and also the fact that commentating this game uh, while playing. In English, which is not my native language, is also uh, sometimes uh, very difficult. But I guess this will do now. Alright, we have a nice hole. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. That's a lot of water. Now, because this hole is not so in so uh, huge, it will not um, overflow this dam immediately, but it will fill up this area first, I guess. Oh, look at that! Oh, you have to imagine. Imagine living, living here, and well, if you if you live on the top floor, you can't you you can well maybe if you are on the roof, you know, if you are on the sitting on the roof here, so you're sitting here on the roof and you think and you are thinking, what the hell is going on over there? Oh no, there's a tsunami coming! Ah! What would you do? <laughs> well, my choices uh, would be simple. I would run up this freeway, uh, run up it, and uh, up, uh, and go this way. Because this freeway is going all the way up, so... Uh... Alright, oh, these are all flatlands. Well, where is that sun? Where is that... I don't know. I can I cannot see any sun, so I I don't have any idea of what kind of time it is. So, well, I don't care. I've turned down my amplifier, so I I myself don't hear any sounds, but you hear the sounds. So you hear probably uh, things like <laughs> As it should be, because uh, that's a lot of a lot of water. This is the first wave, and this is a big wave coming right behind it. And then, oh. all right, the wave is smashing against the first dike, the only dike that's protecting the lower parts of this city. And well, it will hold at first. At first, <laughs> oh yeah. 
Is it my imagination? Imagination, or does it stay longer light now than uh, in my previous load? Maybe. Well, I'm not sure. Well, the longer it stays light, the better. So that water will also go that way. These guys can still travel because this is an elevated freeway. Although the freeway is a bit lower here, so finally it will. I think these part, these parts will submerge as well. Because look at the height of the height of the sea. Let's see if we can lower this down even more. Because for my taste, it's not going fast enough. I want, I want more, more speed, more speed. The entire, the entire sea has to roll in here. So just like that. Whoa! Look at that. Oh man! People watching this in Japan go crazy if they see this. The horrible uh, tsunami that struck Japan in 2011, which cost over, I don't know how many people's lives, uh, several tens, tens of thousands, and I have seen many videos of that, of that tsunami, of all those tsunamis, and well, these vi this video looks so gentle. In comparison with, uh, with with those tsunamis, uh, in which complete complete buildings were erased, complete uh, towns were obliterated, and you you can't imagine what those people well uh, well what to say. But I have uh, my deepest respect for the Japanese people because they are a very resilient people and uh, they always overcame overcome the most uh, ugliest things they ever uh, got they got everything they got earthquakes they've got uh, Russia which would invade them in after the second world war they got two nuclear warheads uh, on two of, th of their cities well and now China is, uh, is, 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 is making uh, fuss with them about, well, tiny islands uh, and stuff. Well, and economically, Japan is at, well, it's doing okay, but its population is aging. So, uh, okay, but stop babbling about the political uh, issues. Uh, it's becoming dark now and the inner dike is still still holding off the impending doom but eventually eventually it will topple over the over the dam it has to topple over this uh, concrete uh, barrier and it will finally it's a pity it's it's become dark now, but well, what you do? What can you do about it? Nothing, I guess. I'm surprised to see that uh, that even with my MSI GTX 1080 Ti video card, I cannot get a frame rate of 60 frames per second, although the video codec says so, but here at the uh, right corner I see my FPS counter which you cannot see now but this says only 35 so you can imagine it it also depends which way I'm looking because if I'm go this way it says now 60 it, it all depends on on how many activity is shown on screen you know you you can better live on this uh, this piece of land. I mean, this piece of land does not flood. Uh, the water is going. Oh, does it topple over yet? Not yet. Not yet. 
Ooh, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting over it. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 wait. Come on, son, get up. Whoa, there's water toppling over it. Ooh, these people aren't don't going uh, aren't going to like that. Salt water in your backyard, that's not nice for your plants and your in your nice garden. Oh, oh it's overflowing here. But I guess this entire area is now well, it's it's not it's okay over here. And even the freeway, it's still not entirely flooded. Does this game not look great? I mean, look at it. it. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I have to lose some air. I thought I have to lose some air. Ah, no. Cannot lose it. Oh, the inner dike is overflowing. Oh no, they are not going to like this. Oh no! After this video, I have another map with another city in which I built an, uh, a, well, a, some sort of crater like structure. Which I built uh, uh, with, uh, I built these kind of walls, but then, well, nearly to the maximum of which the games allowed, and I pull, uh, I put in that crater uh, some wells. So imagine uh, a whole crater to the top, filled up with water, and I have a, a city uh, behind it. And imagine what happens if such uh, a levee is broken. Then, compared to that, then is this tsunami is very small. But you will see that in that video. And well, these guys have trouble uh, with the water now. So it's already f overflowing uh, harshly. Not, not not even not even so big actually because if you look at this water level and you compare it to the 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 height of the of the of the dike of the levee then it's just just overflowing now it's dry now it's overflowing again a bit and let's see how much of the city has water troubles let's look at this Nice roads, eh? I can't remember how I made them because I made them several years ago. Look at this. If load game, snowy city. Uh, well, I I I I I did open it recently, but you can see at this saves when I played the most uh, of the most of time of the this game. Well, that was last year in March. Uh, 4 12 uh, December 2016, 18 4, 18 April. Hmm. So, I didn't play it for a while. I'm, I focused more on Battlefield uh, after that came out. Whoa, water has already entered the city here. Oh no, here goes my nice roundabout. Well, it's getting light again, so that's uh, 
Oh, you see, it's overflowing here now as well, at this point. Now we're getting somewhere. Now it does not take long before the, these parts of the city are uh, getting flooded as well. Now, there is a method of getting your camera to the ground level, but I, I cannot figure... There is some way you can do that, but I don't know how. This is this is the lowest point I can get. I, I cannot you know, move forward. So the water will come. How far away is it? Oh, it's already here. I think that uh, the water is portrayed a little too too clear for my taste. I mean, a real tsunami would not be so clear. I mean, just look at the footages of those uh, videos from Japan. A tsunami of, of, of a lot of water is more than alone, water alone. It carries a lot of debris, debris, well, talking about debris. <laughs> But it also is darker of color, not not so transparent. So, in, actually, this entire valley will uh, will be uh, filled with water, and I think all these buildings. I'm not sure if the biggest buildings will submerge entirely, like this one. So, servicing service office. Let's just see how high is it compared. Well, well, it's hard to say. Well, these parts of the city are still dry, but I think not for long. Because water is rushing in the city here. Got some pollution here. That's why it's it looks so foggy around here. Well. Imagine living here and <laughs> the husband uh, and wife have an argument and uh, the wife says to his husband uh, Should you water the plants? Oh, no need for that honey, water is, uh, is just already coming <laughs> Oh, I am a terrible joker uh, You know, I could, um, I could um, comment uh, comment these videos in my own native language in Dutch, but I know that Dutch is well. Okay, most of uh, my viewers maybe are Dutch, but English people and most other non-English people don't understand Dutch, so. It makes things easier for me, but harder for them. So, in this case, because I have some knowledge of the English language, I speak it, and I try it, and I don't care if it just sounds like mumble-jumble. The most important thing for me is that you can understand me. You can understand what I'm saying and that's the most important thing. Yeah, okay, sometimes I'm sometimes I have trouble finding some English words or sometimes some words are getting misspelled uh, very improperly. Ah 
So, is it still overflowing? Is it still overflowing? But... Uh, let me see, what is the level? This is the actual, actual water level, so... I don't, I don't think, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, is this connected somehow? Yes, to the entire sea of uh, the game. I cannot zoom out further. And what's that? I, can, I cannot... No, I cannot go there. That's be, uh, beyond my territory. So the entire... Uh, Secondary dike has now uh, uh, being overflown, oh, over overflowed, <laughs> overflown. <laughs> oh, and the freeway which is uh, passing through this, well, I call it a polder, is not usable anymore. It's always, it's also a nice fact to know for you guys uh, that a polder. That's a, that's a typical D Dutch term for a uh, reclaimed land and did you know that we here in the Netherlands made the largest uh, polder in the whole world and it basically it's an island and what did they do they they looked at the map and they looked at the Isel lake so they created first the closure dam, we call it the Afsluitdijk, but you can look at that on, on Wikipedia, call it for closure dam in Holland. Actually it's the Netherlands, not Holland. And so the, the, uh, the, the southern sea, because we have, the, we have the North Sea and we have the South Sea. So, basically, what's now called the Isel Lake was used to be the South Sea. And that's why the North Sea is called the North Sea, because it was at the North. So, the North Sea was... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. The uh, South Sea was uh, dammed in, and it became a fresh lake because it was fed by the, uh, the river Isel and it became the uh, biggest uh, fresh water lake of the Netherlands and is it is very useful because uh, in periods of droughts it becomes uh, a very important uh, reservoir of uh, fresh water so, but they needed the land because Amsterdam was uh, an, an over overflowing city it was a very crowded city and uh, all those people who worked in that area had to live somewhere so they decided to uh, polder in the uh, nearest uh, lake, in this case the Isel Lake and they started to building uh, just a dam all around and then finally after the, the entire dam was completed they pumped out all the water and it took several years before the entire polder was drained empty. It's like playing on the beach, you know. It's it's like um, or or just at uh, at some swimming uh, area uh, where there are no tides. Just go sit in the in 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 some shallow water, which is only. 10 centimeters deep and uh, take your kid with you and and throw around uh, sand and make dikes around you like in a square two by two meters for example and then uh, well go play with your kid and uh, having that kid is a, a good excuse to play with the sand and the water anyway even if we are 40 year old guys <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, 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 I like that so much. <laughs> and say to the kid, well, now we have to uh, 
put out all the water, so get your bucket and uh, get the water out. So, well, if you uh, scoop out enough water, then, uh, then finally that part uh, will become dry. And, uh, and you got a polder. And the nice thing about this if you, is having a kit uh, with you is that the kit always want to breach the dam afterwards so your polder isn't going to be safe so after the after all the hard work <laughs> the kid says now I'm going to breach the dam dad oh no <laughs> here it goes again well he breaches the dam and and well this is not very ah oh, what a nice sunset this is not very accurate because under normal circumstances this would erode away very quickly this part too so this hole would normally be become much bigger so how low can you go hmm. it's also blurry at the distance Hmm. So, as you can see, this is now water city, but my main city is still intact, and that's because this city is just on a higher elevation, so it's not flooded. Basically, I could, I can redo all this damage by just close off this dam again and put the pumps to work I thought I had those pumps over here a lot of pumps most of them are underwater so most of them don't work but I can also add more uh, al along the sideline and it will take ages to get to get to get all that water out just like in uh, in the Netherlands Oh, the polder uh, I was speaking about is called Flevoland, so you can search for it. It's called Flevoland, and on average it's four to five meters below sea level. So this, what what you are seeing here, is a good representation of what happens when the when the the dikes of Flevoland would breach really all those buildings will be beneath four or five meters of water I, c I cannot even see any buildings anymore here where are the buildings I mean I can I can I can still see the, the structure of the roads even the lights but where oh here are the buildings okay all the lights are turned off okay because these are these are very big buildings these are buildings uh, which are 20 30 40 meters high and well in in the province of Flevoland it would be the same thing they will be flooded flooded uh, f 3 or 4 or 5 meters and uh, but if you have a normal house, then uh, I would not stay there if I lived there. So, uh, well, that's my story so far. Um, yeah, this is nice. So we got a nice uh, extra lake now. Is it all filled up now or is it still flowing? It's still flowing. So, not not as fast anymore, but it will still rise, and you can you cannot see you cannot hardly see anymore the the dike which lies here somewhere, and all all the houses which were behind it. Uh, I see some strange artifacts here. Uh, I I'm not I'm not sure uh, how this game copes with uh, a lot of water. Maybe structures will be 
collapsed. Okay. Collapsed. That's the reason why I can't see it anymore. It's collapsed because of the water. Okay. Okay. This one is abandoned, so but that's that one is still visible. Oh, here you can see it. Now it's now it's clearly visible. Do you see it? This building. Okay, it's abandoned, but it's not collapsed. And well, sadly enough, it does not show it high its height. Uh, but it's just sticking above the uh, the waterline. But I guess it will submerge anytime soon because there is still water in coming in. So, but we are not going to wait for that. Well, if you like this video, I recommend you watching the other video as well. And that video is called, uh, well, I call this, uh, uh, well, how would I call this? I call this uh, a big tsunami in city skyline. And the other video, well, that will be a real mega tsunami that... Uh, that encompasses a tsunami which is literally 20 30 meters high so maybe I have to pick up this game again I, I really like playing this game building stuff and, and so but, uh, well it takes some time to get used to 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 how things work and and what the what the quarks of, of of the game are and how the engine works and how certain things work i'm i mean all these buttons here well i have a general idea what they mean but i can see i am in the, in the red so that's not good so but i don't care because uh, the purpose of this video was only to show you the the flooding and it's a real flooding. Life just goes on. Oh, the sun is rising again. Oh man, I'll talk, all, the, all, the, all the talk about the water. I have to pee. Yeah. That's not funny. All that flowing water. Well, I don't think the water will get so high that it will even overflow this uh, freeway. I mean, it has stopped flow, stop flowing now, hasn't it? Let's see. It's still it's still coming in but the well I think the height difference is uh, is nominal maybe uh, a meter or so wow it's nice to see it uh, in broad daylight, so I, I'm happy I did not stop the video yet, because I'm recording this in uh, 4K. It's uh, it's uh, taking a lot of my computer because I'm playing it, I'm recording it, and I am talking into my Galaxy S7 smartphone. And I combine those two later. What are these smudges? Is that, an, is that industrial waste? I guess. Well, I don't think that there will be more 
No, no, no. This will not be flooded uh, any further. It will rise maybe only a few meters, maybe till here. And then, uh, and then uh, it's done. Okay. okay guys, I thank you for watching and uh, go watch that other video, that super tsunami video, it's great and uh, maybe you will see uh, more videos of me in the, in the near future with this game of as well, but uh, I will focus uh, myself more on Battlefield 1, uh, I think. So uh, I think uh, the chances of uh, seeing more of these videos are, well, slim. So, uh, but anyhow, uh, it's a great game and uh, I think I will play it again in the future. So uh, until next time, uh, see ya, bye bye.